started, our hometown. Uh, we're actually hosting a couple of people, friends, family, a couple of influencers also uh, to showcase our vlog. A lot of people always ask us, uh, what are you guys doing when you're traveling? Like, so we really wanted to showcase a part that part of our, biz of our business, like the behind the scene uh, when we travel, show people exactly what we're doing. So we're happy that we're here tonight, and can't wait for all you guys to follow us on this journey. All right, let's get in. We wanted to show people the work that goes behind the scenes of making Ella Scream a relevant brand, uh, especially in the States. So we are officially launching right now with all of you the Ella Scream vlog, which is produced by a team of people. This guy that I don't like right here holding the camera, his job is, is phenomenal uh, without him. Evelyn and Fritz, if you see them, Fritz, thank you guys for the direction and everything. Uh, and you know, with, with this team, we feel that we can take Alice Cream to the next level. Yes, this is officially a watch party. <laughs> so get your food, get your drinks. a great opportunity to see what's happening, what's actually happening behind the scenes, all the work, all the efforts that are being done by Miriam and Steven to actually make the brand grow. Um, and I also thought that it was great to see how relatable they are, how open they are, and how really they're putting the work to actually make this brand international. It was amazing, and what I love about it, it's the fact that you see how hard they work and this is what business is all about. You have to have a blind faith and this is what they do. So they showcase everything, the behind the scenes and the hard work they've put in Ella's Cream and it's amazing. I think that it was really nice. Um, I think that it was really uh, genuine, you know. Uh, you see uh, the true colors, you see something that is really close to, well, reality. Uh, you see that it's not easy. Uh, we have, uh, it's, they are entrepreneurs, but they're also parents. So they leave the kids back there in, uh, in Canada, going in the States, doing what they need to do uh, to provide their family. And I think that they, they're making a really great team. Uh, so I think there's, there's a brand, but there's a story behind that. And uh, I'm really a fan. I'm really a fan. Uh, and uh, Alice King will, will always have me as a supporter. Uh, as long as they will live. Long live to, uh, to uh, Ellis Creek. The vlog, honestly, it's been a while that we all know what's going on behind the scene, but to put it out there for you guys to notice what Ellis Creek is go doing uh, in the States and here in Canada, really, you should just go and watch it. Alors le vlog nous ouvre les yeux sur la réalité et les coulisses de, de la vie d'entrepreneur. Bravo Miriam, bravo Steven. So today we're 
at RNBC, uh, they are our distributors here in Georgia. So we're here to present to the sales team, um, you know, the story of LS, get them hype about uh, about the brand, about you know the history of LS, everything that we're trying to do with the brand, and that we are doing with the brand. So we've been working with RNBC for about almost two years now and because of the pandemic and all of that it's actually the first time that we're live in front of the whole uh, Salesforce team so we're looking forward to it. you feel who's listening you might get two people out the room those two people gonna help you on your mission so i'm proud of you you did a great job thank you Kenny. yes the dream is real <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so we just finished uh, we wrapped it up uh, with the, the team of rnbc i think it was great to finally be in person be able to share our stories you know give them a bit more energy and guidance to go and sell these cases for LS. Uh, Kenny Burns came in, so that was a perfect you know, timing and we're super happy. We are just looking forward to everything that's coming up, so stay tuned. Today we're recording my podcast. Uh, the podcast is something that I started, uh, oh my God, a few years ago already. Uh, started just as a, just as something fun to do on the side of doing LS Cream, but it, it, it became a whole thing, right? Uh, I, I find that, you know, we, we, there's a bunch of people in Montreal that I felt that needed a space to talk. Uh, myself, I like to talk a lot, but uh, yeah, so I remember at the time, I think we did the first episode in 2016. It was sporadic at that time, you know, we were not really committed, but um, consistent. But uh, now that we have our YouTube uh, YouTube channel, and you know, we have like uh, everybody helping us around and the studio and everything. So now we're a bit more consistent. So I really like that and we're able to have guests and so forth. Um, I think what's really cool about the podcast is the people that we're able to meet, right? So. Every time um, I reach out to people, like I make new connections, and it, at the end of the day, it's also for LS. It, 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 I, I meet new people, they learn about the brand, and they expose this to their to their friends and family and their and their followers. Speaking of great opportunities, uh, Kael Pedre from um, from Haiti, great journalist, 
um, you know, he was in Montreal for an event and I reached out to him and, you know, we always had a good rapport and he accepted the invitation to the podcast and it was really a dope conversation about, we, of course, we spoke about LS, but we spoke also about the state of Haiti right now and, and everything that was going on and it was really a great interview, so a lot of people told me that they appreciated that in that interview. And again, that's the reason why we do the podcast, right? We, I think that us being from Montreal, we have a different perspective on the world around us. We grew up here, we have a different way of thinking, different way of seeing things, expressing ourselves. So yeah, so I think it's uh, it's fun. So yeah. Hi, my name is Gabby Michel. I am a fellow co-host of uh, Le Podcast Montreal with uh, Stephen Charles, a childhood friend of mine. And um, basically when we, we just love to talk. We talk about everything, sports, uh, everyday news. And uh, one day we just decided, hey, why not just share our thoughts with the world? Uh, people think we're naturally funny. And uh, whenever we talk with each other, people just end up laughing around us. We figured, hey, might as well share it with everyone. And um, yeah, we started doing the podcast. I'd say it's been a good four years now, uh, up to 200 plus episodes. It's, things are working great for us. And um, over time, we figured, knowing St Stevens, he's a very, he's always bouncing ideas with, with me in how he could tie in his personal passion, which is LS Cream, with uh, the podcast. Uh, yeah, we're having a lot of fun with it. Um, we invite our friends, um, making a lot of new acquaintances too, trying to develop, you know, black, black excellence in a, in a general way. <laughs>